We are back. We are back on first guest day on the bonfire. We are here in Opie's inter- internment camp. <laughs> oh, Jay still lighting fires. Located conveniently so he can laugh at us through the studio window. <laughs> Welcome back to the bonfire. The man you hear bitching is Big Jay Ogerson. <laughs> <laughs> why do you keep why do you keep turning on me? I'm not turning on you, Jay. I feel like bitching is trivializing my feelings. All right, you know what? That's a fair argument, and I'll say you're complaining. Thank you. Like an old married couple. <laughs> like an old bitch. We had our first guest, who's David Tell, and now our second guest has joined us. The only <laughs> all we do is have fucking great comedians on. Beasts. Nick DePaulo. Yeah, how Nick are you, kids? I'll be opening for him October seventeenth, Gramercy Theater. Stop sucking your own dick, it's his time. No, I said let him, opening. Let him suck for away. We need fucking ticket sales. Hey said, everyone, I'm on the show too. I'm saying I'm over. That's that's called a trans you know what, dude? I think this whole studio movement thing is Nick, let me give you some good advice with yes, about Dave. this uh, radio here. Yeah. It's <laughs> off the grid. It's off the rails. <laughs> Crazy! I brought in uh, donuts. Oh, did you bring them? <laughs> yeah, I did. Dave gave us Please. a housewarming present. I, mean, I know you don't eat donuts. Our new studio. Dave brought us donuts. I, I, <laughs> I well, know you don't. I love Dunkin' Donuts. I, I, I like the coffee. But, but you live upstate, so I assume it's more of a biscuit, <laughs> uh, maybe a scone. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yeah, that brown one with the, with the colored sprinkles. It looks like George Wallace's asshole. <laughs> That'll be the comedian. By off the grid, he means we're in a uh, Opie's broom closet. That's what he means. There's no cell service in here. Is this so? Oh, you can't live without your fucking cell, Jay. Come on. Turns out. I'm going to have to <laughs> I was learn happy you to. guys got a show, and then I realized it was costing me fucking money. Every, you know, they don't play, <laughs> they don't play my bits, because you guys are hogging up the fucking air. Oh, we <laughs> Congratulations, money. cocksuckers. I'm living in a lean to. <laughs> That's a great take on I didn't realize we're fucking people sound exchange. Did up. you think of that, Dan? No. no While well, you were buying these expensive donuts that didn't come across? No. I, 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 for, I, don't even know how, <laughs> I don't even know how serious works. So how do you guys get paid? Like, how does that work? Well, you get paid by Comedy Central on this, yeah. but there's the thing, the sound exchange. That's right. Jake. That pays you every month you get money. Like yeah. they take, I guess, a, I don't know how much it is, a couple cents every time they play your stuff. But they track it. They track it. They track it. They track it. Yeah. Oh, so cool. we're taking, and it's, we're, we're it's, taking food out of your mouth. Yeah. You could, you could say that. And my wife's <laughs> mouth to my three little uh, Filipino kids. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, but what those little fucks are starving. But what, about great, all, what about all the drunken handshakes from illegal downloads from the fans? <laughs> <laughs> dude, man, I love your stuff. No, I've never paid for any of it. I mean, <laughs> you know it's on YouTube? Yeah, I just watched the whole thing right there on YouTube. Got your new album on Pandora. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I, like, even uh, I like uh, Netflix. Like, uh, you know, I put my special up there. And like, let me just tell you something, Nick. I know you did a special. <laughs> I had there. one on there. You, yeah, okay. Uh, that's the place. It really... I, I yeah, I'm telling you, like that's gonna be the place for now. Yeah. On, you know, you're gonna be going up against, uh, you know, yeah, Billy Burr. <laughs> yeah, well, no, his but, fifth one. No, but, I'm going up against Louis. Something he did 11 years ago. No, but you're always <laughs> hey. going up against a Nick Cage movie. <laughs> that's what I, like. Bill, I can take that. Him out. I can beat. Yeah, Bill that Burr's, guy sucks. Bill Burr's done so many specials. Now he's just changing like the hue of the film at this point. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's I just know. doing black and white <laughs> specials. They have I a whole know. channel of them on Netflix. Really? Yeah, no. They, I was That's what he said, oh though. God, That's what Billy it. told me. Burr said, "I said, when did it change for you?" He he said one of his specials was on the front page, center yeah. front page at Netflix. And I'm like, well, first of all, how do you fucking get it on the front page of Netflix? <laughs> Because I know Barry can't can't do that for me. <laughs> uh, and uh, he said that's when he started noticing people. You know, that's when he started selling. Was yeah. When they... So Netflix is really. Yeah, no. It, it, Kevin Hart said the same thing. He said it was just one of his specials just happened to hit, and that was just the change. Really? It was like an overnight thing. Yeah, that thing. pisses me off because I killed for years. <laughs> yeah, know? that's true. And fucking, there was no Netflix, and I had a special on the Weather Channel, and fucking uh, <laughs> Nat Geo, and and uh, Nat Geo. I did my best work in the fucking early nineties. <laughs> you had an awesome, you had an awesome <laughs> Showtime special that came out. The thing with the show, which I, I would have uh, done in a heartbeat, also if uh, that opportunity appeared, but the Showtime at one point was like. Everything was like, you know, it was like some deaf comedy jam ripoff thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. It was like chocolate sundae, <laughs> black mocha, <laughs> espresso the bean sassy comedy. sassy queen ladies of comedy. <laughs> Monique and friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bitches. <laughs> I, I like when they do those, like, uh, you know, uh, whatever, whatever that is. Like, I guess you could say they bring out five, like, really super hardcore ur- urban acts. And yeah. like you can tell it's heavily edited because like when the white guy goes up, like it's almost like halfway into a set because you know there was a lot of calming the crowd. Down. <laughs> you know? 
It's almost like a joke and good night. Because like, there was definitely like, come on now. Give him a chance. When it, Why is a white guy got a cut over his eye? Whenever it's, a, whenever, it's a, whenever it's a group of black chicks, they're always wearing like ball gowns. Like they're going to like some amazing... Uh, well, yeah, it's think, a big night know, out watched, Me and Soder actually watched today uh, a comic go up on Bill Bellamy's Who's Got Jokes, which is a black show. And he did that the the thing that I assume everyone in this room hates is the selling out white people to do good in a black crowd. Do you know what I mean? Like the whole like he's like I dr- all my friends say they have black friends. They don't have black friends. I got black friends. <laughs> oh, he was a white. He was a white. It was a white dude who oh, was wow. just completely was like an, he was- <laughs> Roger Rod. Roger Rod. Yeah. Who is this Ben? Sounds like a fucking Arnold. astronaut. <laughs> oh, by the way, you could definitely pull it up on Apollo, YouTube, Lou. Yeah, the Apollo 10 mission with Roger Rod. <laughs> There's definitely some Roger the Rod. He, uh, yeah. he dressed like a uh, an older drug addict that broke into a black man's house, and oh. then he was nude and just took all of his clothes. That's oh. what he looked like. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Like, like he ran out of the house and was like, I gotta get out of here. I was naked when I came in. And he's white? He yeah. Like, he looks like a meth addict who stole Suge Knight's luggage from the airport. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, Jay and I were watching him. I was like, he "Let me like guess, San Jose, somewhere uh, up there, Bay Area." Thank you. He's from well, the Bay Area. Yeah, yeah. you know. Where else are they more confused about race than <laughs> you fucking fu- the politically correct Bay Area? But this fucking- guy, that, that'll be your next special, Nick. Nick DiPaolo's Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love Oakland. Walnut well, Creek, I used to kill. Yeah. Now it's a different vibe yeah, out there. It's true. Live in Walnut <laughs> Creek. I want to show Roger Rod because I want to. Uh, they don't even I promote it, it as too. a show. It's like um, our next conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Roger Raj. Let's show him a picture of Roger Raj, and then obviously we haven't talked about this, uh, guys. But on a uh, previous episode of we talked about Chet Hayes, who's Tom Hanks's son. I found out Tom Hanks had as a son who's a rapper. I didn't know. That's that. how I found out through this show, actually. Really? Yes. Chet Hayes. And, and I didn't know till Jay. Chet Hayes. I know. Yeah, Jay told me about it yeah. on the show, and we went through all of his clips. Well, he was missing. Chet Hayes, aka yeah. Chet Hanks, aka Hanksy Boy. That's right, Chet Hanks. I know him. Or, uh, aka <laughs> Chester Hanks. I, I thought he was like a center fielder for the White Sox in the seventies. <laughs> That's exactly. Right. Right. We made that you joke. Told, did you? No, really? he, no, he made the joke. I said, like, said, it, sound, I said it sounded <laughs> like he played for <laughs> from you, a shortstop for the Kansas City Wisps. <laughs> yeah, I said it sounded like he played for a team before it's just really, white people yeah, is that chet a rapper hayes. name chet hanks that's his real name i know but chet hayes is that does that put some like you know cool it gives on it? Yeah. yeah yeah okay. so that was the whole point is we were blown away h-a-z by the oh, H-A-Z. Okay. Yeah. yeah yeah we were blown away that tom hanks had a son that thought he was it was okay to be the son of tom hanks and also be a rapper because not only is colin hanks like an actor and respect but he's like almost like He's the whitest, nerdiest well, who's type Paul of white. Hanks? It's his other son who acts, and yeah. he gets a lot of acting. Yeah, he was in Orange County yeah. uh, last season of Fargo, and he's, yeah. and he's like a, a really, right now, he's like an awkward, like very he's white. Actor. He's a very good actor. I'm saying, but he, but his like thing is like he's a very just tucked in shirt type guy. Yeah. It seems, and for his brother yeah. to be such an over the top. That's why, and, and and him trying to sell it so hard, you know, like yo, watch this how I talk, yo. It's just a way yeah, of life in this bubble. Well, here's what happened. He vanished. We didn't know that. We didn't know he was missing. We were unaware. If you don't know, who the fuck knows? Then, <laughs> then we felt very like, oh, I hope he's not dead or we are horrible <laughs> yeah. for how we went at him. We were, we were very concerned he's, about that. So it turns out, he, he, while we were gone, we were not here for two weeks. He was in a Walmart. Uh, he was he turned up. <laughs> no, and uh, and I believe it's Louie went to rehab, correct? He went to rehab for doing drugs. No, oh, how heck. <laughs> oh, he's like he's Fucking like the bad hack. Baldwin. But yeah. he's, oh, he's their he's their bad Baldwin. He's their Billy Baldwin. Yeah, <laughs> he's got to find God. But Tom and his and his son though, which one was the, the actor? Yeah, I was in that movie Uncle Buck with him, and he uh, we <laughs> made eye, yeah we made eye contact and shook hands. So I assume we're friends. <laughs> yeah. No, he he's very cool, and I was like I was just thinking I was like. Doesn't that suck? Like, cause actors, you know, we always hear this whole thing of like, you know, like how hard it is to get work as an actor. Even if you're super famous, it's still hard to get work. So going up against your own son. Yeah. Who looks kind of like you and is, and is like younger for the younger parts. So a newer <laughs> so, version yeah, of so you. Tom's always got to be like, um, you know, I just played Walt Disney. And he, <laughs> you, oh, really? I'm playing like a, a hedge fund guy who's on a drug binge, you know, like yeah. cooler parts. I do know? a bank heist. What do yeah. you do, dad? Yeah, you I'm fall like a, asleep a in a hacker wheelchair? nerd who, <laughs> yeah. they're going to read super hot chick. 
They're redoing yeah. Forrest Gump, not with Colin Hanks, though, I don't believe. They better urban it up. I think, I, that's what I'm guessing. I guess it's oh, going to no. be Jamie Foxx or something. Oh, of course. They're, call it F they're not doing They're redoing Forrest Gump. I heard that. Go. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Look that up. See, Lou, see if of that's course. the thing. All the shrimp is fried. I've seen the fucking trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the trailer, and it's just... It's Forrest Gump 2, Bubba's Revenge. Yeah. <laughs> Life's like a fucking He's like, box of weed. Off, yeah. Get off my boat, you retard. <laughs> 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 but he has a bunch of so Chet has a bunch of apology videos because saying that he was all drugged up because he defended using the N word. Yeah, he said, oh, he he said it was a it. way. Of, he said it was a way of life, and it's cool. He could do it. How do you get that fucking confused? A lot of money. Right, Tom He's Hanks a lot kid. Of you got that castaway money, Nick. Yeah. Jonah Hill, that's right. It's Jonah Hill. That's, that's Jonah Hill. It's Jonah Hill's. No, he's gonna he's gonna play Forrest Gump. He's gonna what? play Chet. Oh, yeah, Jonah Hill playing Forrest Gump. Why are we making he's Forrest gonna fucking play... Gump, by the way? Yeah, there was, yeah what the fuck? That came out Okay, exactly. What's that, 21 years ago? Yeah. But shouldn't it stay like just like a great movie in its own? Yeah, let's sit alone for no. fucks, even though I thought it was overrated as shit. But... As the guy who's going to go see the new Ghostbusters, I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> take all the like, remake of Forrest take all the, Gump. Take all that inappropriate fun out of it. And like, I like when they try to politically correct these movies, yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like Ghostbuster. Now I'm sure it'll be some kind of weird lean in, yeah. you know, on the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a confused young white fellow. Well, that's why we make all of our guests Chet Hanks T-shirts yeah. to take home. With Bring them on! Why you get he... to wear them on stage. It's a beer koozie and a gun holster. What does he play? That's... Caroline's or Gotham? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> David Tell just got himself new driving tunes. I like this. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so it. different than every other fucking hip hop R and B song. That I think it gives us. I I think it gives us a peek into the world of the rapper. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. of the uh, of the uh, white rapper, which is a, a different world. Let's play him the YouTube <laughs> of him defending using the N word because that is. I love the. Just, why does he have to defend it? Some call the fucking First Amendment. Anyways, back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Every celebrity, just a word, man. Exactly. But it is. Uh, it is nice to know that. Tom Hanks's movie funded that music video. Oh, oh, you know it did. That was like a. <laughs> that was like a, That's true. Uh, yeah, that was oh. a lot of uh, a week of good chores money. <laughs> oh. If you take the car to get waxed and whatever, <laughs> and that was you. Uh, good chores money is hilarious. Uh, Chet, wonderful job cleaning your room. As we agreed upon, the thirty thousand dollars. Oh, dope, Mom. I'm going to go make a video where I look like a businessman. I want to go be a businessman. He, he was just throwing fucking Band of Brothers money on strip <laughs> Band yeah. of Brothers. That's when I was trying to... Again, I'm coming over that weed fucking thing. Oh, took out half my memory. Oh, man. So you I'm took an edible. We were talking about this off air. Did I ever go up to oh. somebody that I didn't know? And just be like, hey, what's up, my nigga? Then you're using it wrong. And why is he telling this to his GPS? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's in his car. <laughs> He's in his car. Yo, take a left, yo. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's talking to a Mother Mary bobblehead. Yes, explain it. He's got fucking Morgan Freeman telling him how to get around Hollywood. Take a right. It's hard being the... The son of a celebrity, I guess. Right? Yeah, is it? It's true. My dad. But I think. <laughs> <laughs> but I think everybody knew my dad at the shoe store. Yeah. And <laughs> it's it's something... probably harder being the son of a cobbler. Okay. Hey, my... you got the heels in. You got the. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's dad does a shoe. He but has... I don't think being a rapper is definitely not the. You, you'd have to be real dumb to think that you could get away with it. And why is he? He's like he's got like a little Game of Thrones beard going there yeah. when he should. Uh, is aren't they supposed to be clean uh, shaven? Right? They are, but it turns out never seen the show. He had uh -huh. a uh, he had a, a drug problem. Uh -huh. So maybe I don't know. Coming off a binge. Point. Yeah, I don't For know. Hangster? But, yeah, so this is what's one. new to us. We have these videos that he made an apology to the people who don't give a shit. Uh, to let us know that he's fine. He's fine he's, now. He's getting right with God. But here's the weird thing. Oh, How did he know we wanted to see these videos? His People fans do. Yeah, we, us, yeah, yeah. Jay and I are now fans of his because it's so fucking ridiculous. I never knew of the guy until I listened to your fucking show. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna I get? Really are you you got to get him in. A, I'm smelling him as like not the third guest, but maybe the tenth <laughs> guest. I mean, if I'd we say could? Greg Rogel, then him. Yeah. Greg Rogel, the Sklar <laughs> Brothers, Duh. him. Sklar. <laughs> Done. We, we're Mark trying to get back to me then. <laughs> Mark McGrath of Sugar Ray. <laughs> Yeah. Who's going to follow the Scholar brother? And then Jeff Dunham. We're <laughs> Jeff trying to Dunham. Get, or even just one of the puppets. I was in with Jeff on Opie's show. Yeah. Right? Did, yeah. Was he talking about getting buff for his new show? So he, he was. He was like ripped and shit. Yeah, I'm like, said, dude, you get, you, what is that, from carrying puppets? He's, got one, yeah, he's, he's got one of those hand trip. clamps in there, one of those hand exercises. Guy exercise. builds helicopters <laughs> and shit. He's a fucking, he he's not a dumb guy, I'll tell you that much. Jeff, what we don't know about Jeff Dunham is Peanut actually weighs 312 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> 
jalapeno on a stick was like two uh, foot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, vascular. He was bicep. fucking ripped. I'm like, I can't even make fun of a puppeteer. I'll kick the shit out of him. <laughs> He's being trained by Magnus for Magnuson just to lift up his fucking thing. He's throwing beer kegs over yeah. a wall. Yeah! That's his <laughs> unconventional Eastern European exercise. That's his lifetime movie. Like he gets his hand, like somebody slams his hand in a car door. And he says, That's are, you a, are you a concert pianist? No, I'm a ventriloquist. <laughs> That's his for 10 mil a year. He's got to chop it off on a hiking <laughs> accident. <laughs> <laughs> he gets One of his prop bags fell on his a hand. A yelpy dog. <laughs> One of his prop suitcases fell on his hand at the <laughs> shit. It's in a hotel room. Someone cut it off. All I've got is a name of That guy's well, loaded. A jalapeno man. on a stick was un trapped under a car, and we had that, you had that mother, <laughs> that mother's, you had that mother's adrenaline, and we slipped it up a car to save it. It's uh, not an it, man. It's a him. Uh, his name is Peanut. <laughs> Nothing is sacred here. Ventriloquism, rap, <laughs> white <Wow>. rappers. <laughs> no. We really take down the top notches. Well, what, what ha whatever happened to that other white rapper, the first guy? Ice? No, no. Eminem? You know, Vanilla? No, you know the one. Inform. Oh, Snow. I'm thinking of it, but Snow, yeah. but that was reggae more than oh. rap. Oh, was it? Where is he? It was Snow now. He's done. I mean, no, he's he a... isn't. He's working a car wash on a little. Although uh, I bet you there's, I bet you he comes out still once every three years and gets flown to like somewhere in this country. Or he definitely Europe. does. Yeah, he easily does a big music festival. I, I bet you could find him doing that. I bet you could find Snow and Former live in the 2010 forward. Could you imagine if we could do a show with Chet Hanks as a guest and Snow performing in Former Live? We should oh, have wow. Snow, we should have Snow be his like uh like his big brother. Oh. <laughs> his tutor, like a scared straight. <laughs> you want to get into white rap? <laughs> Let me show you what happens when you get into white rap. Way no one listens to you. <laughs> All I know is neither one of you are going to be in Tom Hanks' next movie. How do you oh. know that? <laughs> maybe, we're, may, maybe he wants you to hear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe we're the dose of medicine that his son always needed. <laughs> Toughen him up. <laughs> yeah. Let him know that the Hanks family doesn't support him. Yeah, what, what do they do? I just got Penn to play the Jenny character in a well, in the, in the Forrest Gump remake because now they're going to make it also a homosexual thing. Are so they really? everyone, So everyone's okay. Like he wasn't gay in the first one. I'm not a smart man. But Are they really I doing know that? what love is. <laughs> I'm not a smart man, but I like dick. I love a big hard dick. <laughs> <laughs> a hot hog. I like black dick. Now, how about black you know dick. Gary Sinise's part? Oh, Are they yeah. going to give him legs for this one? Just yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody's going to get back on his feet and really he's do well. Get back on fucking microaggression. <laughs> <laughs> I was raped by a guy with no legs. That's the uh, <laughs> with metal Colonel legs. Dane. With metal legs. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Colonel, colonel Dan. Colonel, colonel Dan. Dan. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. Sorry. Yeah. Lieutenant Dan. Band? Well, he'll be a colonel in this one. <laughs> yeah. They yeah, got yeah, to bump him up. He's a guy from F Troop. <laughs> he's a colonel, and he's going through a transition. <laughs> yeah, he's he identifies. He's a colonel that identifies as a lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> so that so that that even makes it even more awkward talking about movies now because there's all the remakes, you know. They're, they're, no, but exactly. they're not making anything new. They're fucking redoing Roadhouse with Ronda Rousey. They are. No, yeah. Oh, that's a classic. Not. That's yep. sacrilege. Is this where we're at? Everything white becomes black. Everything male's female. What a fucking because they don't write good luck with that. I hope it's. Did anybody for shits and giggles? <laughs> I love Nick. I love my Christ. Nick. Well, Nick no, I'm watching pure. real sports, and they go, she's the pound for pound, the most male or what female, the, the best fighter on the planet. Wow. And, okay. Yeah, we, I, all, we all got taken back he, by that. That's oh, a Jesus. transvestite. Who gives a no, fuck? No, is it? Sure no, it is. No I way. Don't. She's 6'6", no. six, six, 240, fucking so. <laughs> hands like Caitlyn. <laughs> but if you can beat her, you can fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes anyway when I'm single. <laughs> the fuck? How's that changed? <laughs> well, <laughs> You're talking Tuesday, buddy. But they were saying Ronda Rousey's pound for pound the, the best on, on real sports. Yeah. They go, pound for pound, male or female, she's the best. Really? It was the only way we could figure that out, huh? How could we <laughs> test that theory? Oh, I don't know. Get a guy who has the same amount of experience and fucking have him fight. Her same weight. Pound. That's yeah. her weight? About. Yeah, and her weight. Exactly. You know what happened? They tried it back in the fucking... You can guys can Google this. Back in the 70s, on Wide World of Sports, back in the 70s. Yeah. Tennis, right? They had this woman from Oklahoma. She was like the best martial arts woman, and she fought the best guy. 
This like he had a Hispanic last name. She comes running out. It was like a fucking. <laughs> she comes running out. He fucking roundhouse kicks her in the side. She went down like a Kennedy. She fucking. Uh, they, they try, she he kicked her right in the liver, she, and, and she was out like a light. And they fucking set her up. She pissed. She, she probably pissed yeah, immediately. Probably. Like, yeah. It was fucking hilarious. Frank Gifford was like doing the play by play. Oh, she's not getting. <laughs> she's like a. So fucking, she was the best martial artist. Versus, she was the best yeah chick at the time at that. So that and just, she went. After this I like guy. how you said it though. Versus a Hispanic. <laughs> no, <laughs> said, I know he's a Hispanic uh, Dave, guy. Don't pull that shit on me. Okay. I can't remember. That's all, he had a Hispanic last name, is what I said. But, okay. uh, I apologize. I can't. He didn't have the <laughs> white ability to hold back. <laughs> you put a white woman against any wily Hispanic. <laughs> I'm betting on that Hispanic. I'll you know, pay to see that When you think about fight. it, that's just like a date between a white chick <laughs> and a Hispanic. That's the third show at the cellar. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> He fucking, I, I can't remember, they sat her up and uh, that was it. I, I love that, like when they have those events, like when it used to be wrestler versus like, uh, you know, like when they... Before, that was like the original UFC. Yeah, before the UFC, it was always like, you know, this guy is a wrestler and he's going to fight a donkey. <laughs> the donkey's wearing a hat, so it's a yeah. fair fight. Yeah. Monty Python, remember Monty Python did that? Yeah. Like then John Cleese yeah. Yeah. fighting was, an old lady and just knocking the fucking shit out of her. But, yeah. but that was the original UFC was... Tell like yes. sumo wrestler versus a ninja yeah, versus a sumo guy got his teeth kicked out. Third yeah, degree black belt versus a girl in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> Can she roll away? <laughs> just stuff him in a cage and start chanting around them. <laughs> Strangling her with her own clock to me back. This is fucking. <laughs> Do you remember the Muhammad Ali versus uh, the guy, the Japanese? Uh, oh, the wrestler. Yeah, the wrestler guy. Yeah. 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 My dad took us all to see that. Like, but we didn't. <laughs> not in Japan. Like, we didn't go to Japan. Yeah. Like, we went to like uh, whatever Madison. But we saw it like on big screen. Oh, and did we're, you like, really? And, like circuit. Yeah. First of all, like uh, you know, it was like if now I think back on it, it was like that was the first time like you see adult disappointment because it was like you know he got us all there yeah. and like we're all doing you know like eating and you know drinking whatever whatever he's doing. But then I then you realize he's like. Like, it's not that great a fight, but he doesn't want to tell us that because yeah. we're young. You know, oh, it's like, that's a good like dad, he, right? Like there. he he realized it was like a trick. You know, yeah. He's like, uh, he's like eh, that wasn't that. You know, I go, yeah, but look, he was. You know, yeah. He that's didn't a want to. Dad, he didn't want to ruin your night. My father yeah. would be like, this sucks. Come on, kids. <laughs> Come on, we've been here ten minutes. Give now me, we're going. Give me some of your allowance to pay me back for that ticket. <laughs> No, exactly. I, I sprung for the ticket. You don't get to watch it. My dad took me to wrestling and then told me it was fake there. He did? <laughs> yeah. like, oh, did he really? Yeah. It's fake. I'm fake. My, All right, deal with it. I think, I think I told him the Road Warriors could beat him up. And he goes, no, they can't. This is all fake. It's all fake. <laughs> and so is Santa Claus. Get your coat. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to fight you in the parking lot, you little shit. <laughs> so, so is your mother and my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> so is the love that you were made from. <laughs> it's all a sham. <laughs> my dad, uh, I think I've said this before, but he took me to the Cow Palace and we took a bus so he could get Hammered. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, it was big stuff. <laughs> I remember waiting at the bus stop. Dad, are we almost like, there? Really? Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, those 16 ounces are starting to come back up on the way home. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was uh, that that's was my. There you go. Look at that. Oh, that's Ali and the the, the okay. paralyzed wrestler. And this is all of us sitting there. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> and he's like, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Look, he's trying to kick Ali in the ca oh. Did I watch those novelty fights? Holy I, I, shit, I was... where was I when this fucking happened? You never saw this one? No. Yeah, Ali, Ali didn't really know what to make of it. And this is what they... I'm taking... Uh, I'm guessing this is where Stallone got the idea. Yes. Yeah. With Hulk Hogan, right? Yeah, Thunderlips. Thunder Lips. Thunder Lips. The ultimate male. Yeah. The ultimate Versus male. The ultimate There's meatball. something that... I remember this now. There's something creepy about like the him pulling around by his leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So like he's like putting him into me. a bath. You gotta me. take a bath. <laughs> you are gonna take your bath, Mister. Get off me. That's what Bridget up. Everett does to the audience oh. when she does this <laughs> thing. Oh, a leg whip. Fucking. Look how, how old was Ali? He could have got hurt there. This is this is probably early. It's got to be like the late seventies, right? 76. What? Seventy six. Seventy six. Yeah. Fuck, See, I was, was good fourteen. Year for us. You know, I oh, watched. Right. Uh, I was out of the country. Do you ever watch the uh, <laughs> Dave? Have you ever seen the Thirty for Thirty documentaries? Yes. On the, the sports ones on Kevin Bacon. Uh, <laughs> no, they did the. I watched the one this last weekend. With Tanya Harding, oh, Nancy Kerrigan. Why? Oh yeah. Why? And then at the end of it, <laughs> why? What an ashy. Tanya head, Harding's <laughs> such a lunatic. But at the end of it, uh, the two things that were great. The one that I'll just say makes me laugh the most was that she goes. Anybody who knows me knows that I didn't have a part in this. I had no prior knowledge. I had no idea about this. Anyone who knows me as my friend would know that. And then it just cuts to the two people who have been doing the talking head the whole time as her friends. They go, look, I want to believe she didn't do it because I'm her friend, but she was part of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they both say she was, but then they show her like, 
how do you make money now? How'd you make ends meet? And she goes, well, I have a lot of different things. And then just shows her in and a that, celebrity and that, boxing. Uh, yeah. And I mean, she's losing. So I mean, the girl's just wailing kicking her. The shit out. Like she really went Jake LaMotta on it where she deserves <laughs> a beating. So she was just taking it. I felt like <laughs> she's like, come on, keep going. I never went down. I, I, never, went down. I never went down. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. I never went down. I never went down. My but shoe so like, right. I never went down, Suzanne Plachette or whatever <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. shit. Put on my bloomers right. <laughs> I know you got to go work the night shift at Circle K, <laughs> but you might have won this match. But it's always like the celebrity boxing. Like, you may have won this round, Kate Jackson. <laughs> She's still a champion in my mind. <laughs> Absolutely. Utania, she's an Olympic hero. And I cannot believe that, like, like uh, she's married, right? Well, yeah, she yeah. just got married to this guy. When I can't he, believe she they haven't the their own comedy club. When she describes the beatings. <laughs> called Tanya's? What yeah. would it be called? I'll tell you what it's called. Skid marks. I worked there. <laughs> would it be called crowbars or Tanya's? Skid marks and buffalo. Paula I Jones. That's the other girl who fucked Clinton, right? Hey, wait right? a minute. She la- which one's Tanya? The two fat white trash hillbillies. I don't, yeah. know. I don't this know. looks like I don't a know closing. If, I don't know if it's the fight I'm talking about. The one I was with, they're not wearing headgear. It looks yeah, like what the fuck? This looks like a uh, look closing at, at a Chili's in Sioux City. It's like an episode of Wipeout. <laughs> yeah. Which one? Tanya's winning this one. We're fight. doing Beach Wars. She's the bomb <laughs> chick, right? The ref, that's, not even, that's not even a ref. He's just like a maitre d' they met. <laughs> lunch. Do you want to be in our big fight? Will you put this shirt on and tell us certain rules that Come you just on, made up? Ladies. Looks like Break. a young Steve Sharippa. <laughs> Ta- Tanya oh, Mar- Tanya's landed him. Oh, nice. This bitch doesn't want any of this. She may win this one. She's a scrappy little broad. Well, yeah, I she's mean, like, you ever, white- see, you ever see her wedding sex tape? Oh, yeah. yeah. Low, uh, from the from below the tits down, really <laughs> awesome body. <laughs> yeah. Her tits were awful. <laughs> her tits were real. You know what tits look like? You ever see when, when they have those things in diners now where the little <laughs> circle where you crack <laughs> eggs into and it makes <laughs> eggs for those oh, kind of things? Yeah. <laughs> I was she actually, had egg sandwich tits. That's not yeah. no. You're uh, uh, she's a professional skater. Okay, all that, all those axles. It whips the nipples. it whips the nips. Off. Yeah, is that, <laughs> those are like whipped. Yeah, it's like whipped cream. I don't remember <laughs> all the spinning and turning. Goes, are your titties gross or are they just? I don't stirred? remember her being that hot from the waist down either. <laughs> well, either way, not from the waist down. She had that great. Look like somebody beat a cat with a shovel. <laughs> Nancy <laughs> Kerrigan. They kept saying uh, the whole documentary talking about how beautiful an ice princess, and she had those big fucking uh, Tiger Woods teeth. No. She, she's like Alfred E. Newman. She had, she had some choppers, but that fucking ass. You want to talk about from the waist down? I yeah. was fucking. Oh my god, I yanked but, it. But both of them. But here's the thing: Tanya Harding was more of like a white trash pig. I could have fucked. So that's why I think. Is I that know. why you liked her? Because she, she was attainable. She was attainable. Jay, you could have got them both. Yeah, oh, no. you know what? You do look like a mm. sexy Jeff Galuli. I better head down to Rockefeller Jeff Center. Galuli, that's what <laughs> I look like <laughs> Jeff Galuli. When Tanya Harding described Jeff Galuli, she was like, "I got in the car with him and was like, did you know about this at all?'" She was, and he just. Slam yeah. like, uh-huh. Jesus. That Jeff sounds Gal- like made up abuse. Yeah, I'm not guy. saying it didn't happen. I'm just saying like it's that's like, such a crazy. Like, really? You it's just, like when one of you your hammer fr- fisted your fucking face for asking a question. <laughs> it's like when a little kid describes a fist fight he was in. He's like, I punched him, and he. And you're like, that none of that probably happened. He just <laughs> rolled around and threw a couple punches. I think I knocked his eyeball back into his head. <laughs> I wonder what the money was on that fight. On which? On the uh, Tanya Harding uh, A little more than she got for doing uh, World's Dumbest Criminals with me <laughs> on True TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I said it. When I saw her on the website, I go, oh, don't put my name up there. <laughs> Fucking. No, I'm not going to go up there with Tanya Harding. People go, you're the funniest person on that show. I go, yeah, I'm up against Tanya Harding and Bonadochi. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cocksuckers. I did, a, I did a comedy show at Comics when Comics was around with Bonaducci. He's actually funny, Bonaducci. And he came in. Wearing a tank top and but like a duster, no. like a long, like a long no. cowboy jacket, and he came in. He goes, "Sorry guys, I'm not going to be too talkative in here." He goes, "I'm dictating my book to my phone." Oh. And, they, and then he would stop for a while and tell me about the program for dictating. And then he goes, "You got to read a book to it, and then it knows your voice." Oh right, Dragon, I believe it's called. Yeah. Well, you can just play. <laughs> oh, you can just play. Uh, Parch's family reruns into it. <laughs> he just <laughs> leaves it fucking... running. He just leaves the TV running and puts his phone. He was actually. I did his radio show. He's actually. He's right. Yeah, he's a good I guy. I like the guy. He is Jack too. And he he's Jack. And he's kind of funny, man. He he's, knows how to fight. He's, he's he's like definitely the taking care of business portraits. Yeah, he's a crazy guy. <laughs> yeah, he's the one that yeah. collects for the yeah. band. I used to be scared of shit of Susan Day until yeah, I saw Bonaducci. He, yeah. knows, he knows what he's doing. Bonaducci he really wants he the Chuck Berry. He's like, give me a bag of money. Or Dave I fuck Madden you up. never did nothing for me. I could fuck him up, and I was. What was the guy's name? Ruben. Yeah. What was the guy's name? Ruben. Dave Madden. Yeah. Ru. Yeah. I think that John. That's John Madden's brother. And I'm not shitting you. I thought That's I read what, that somewhere. It's like, look, Ruben asked for the money, but I'm here to take the money. Hi, I'm Danny Bonaducci, the muscle of the Partridge family. <laughs> oh, that, 
You guys got, coming a little late this weekend. We played a good show. It's a little late. Right now, your listeners are going, what the fuck are they talking about? Uh, Bonaduce. I don't know the demographic. <laughs> yeah. That was a Bonaduce demographic. Bonaduce. Sure. Yeah, he's a crazy fuck. That was one reality show I liked. I, I watched that. I watched that. Right? That was actually a decent one. And oh, the, the one where Greg remember Bur- he's drinking a quarter of vodka every three minutes. And fucking <laughs> yeah, that was good. Throwing that people was... out of his house, and... just banging chicks behind his wife's back on yeah. t- camera. Like that's wrong. <laughs> I, uh... He's like, yeah, but that girl was at the gym. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounded like Florentine. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big uh, L.A. thing. I met him at the gym. So yeah. it's okay to fuck uh, yeah. up if you meet him at the gym. <laughs> I used no, that to go, was a gym hookup, baby. You don't yeah, understand. All right. I used to go on auditions I knew I wasn't going to get for, like, Tropicana Sun Tanning. <laughs> <laughs> you'd get Nick, there, you'd see 40 chicks in bikinis sitting in a hallway. Nick I is, mean, oh, my fucking word. Nick is the funniest. And when he moved to L.A., like, I, I, like I go to L.A. for a week or so, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, you know... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You know, like, I, you know, I've been, everybody I know is now either married or like right. uh, they're in rehab. So there's no one to hang out with. <laughs> right. But you were there like when you were, you know, when young. you were, yeah, yeah. When you were really young. So yeah. like it must have been a party, right? You found me. Do you remember running into me on Venice Beach, Dave? I was having the worst year easy, of my life. Easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> it was just paddle ball. It was just paddle ball. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think I do remember you, that. You were out you there for there, something. Right? I was living there by myself. I didn't know anybody. I was in a basement apartment. My girlfriend, I, I left her behind. I'm going, you know, I did three Arsenios in six months. I thought I was going to be king of the world. I go out there. I cheat on her in New York. I fuck her anyway. I get out to L.A. I don't know anybody. I want my girlfriend back. I'm in a basement apartment. In Ve- I don't know fuck and anybody I, it was just like swingers i, I lost 28 pounds what I, I didn't shower i fucking i was running wow. six miles a day didn't yeah. know anybody you i remember running into you like on a sunny day you were out there for something you didn't even recognize anything of flyers that was before twitter <laughs> <laughs> comedy worst, <Check> <laughs> comedy show you worst fucking year of my life just it was on like a Sunday afternoon, it's 101 degrees, but, hate... the, but the beach is closed because of gang activity oh, and fun. shit like that. And 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 I mean, <laughs> I'm in a basement apartment with a window. You can only see like the top uh, two inches of the street. I'm watching people's feet go by, like <laughs> flip flops, and I'm like crying. I want my girlfriend. I'm calling her house. Her father's answering at three in the morning. Uh, I go, "Where's Nancy?" She goes, "You fucked around on her. She's out with this guy Brian down the." Camp. Uh, you told I'm you. like, "You motherfucker!" I'm yelling at him. Uh, <laughs> wait, what, but when you lived out there, Nick, this yeah. is before podcasts. This is before all the web stuff. So this is before TV, then. <laughs> okay, so you're out there, right? And like, um, you know, like the whole thing about LA is like you got nothing to do until you get an audition, right? So that must have been really like, you know, you're staring at a coy <laughs> <court> phone. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, reading the, was, reading the pizza box for I the fifteenth time. Even mm. now, it was such a bad time in my life. I can't hear myself. That doesn't matter. What is this? A Tandy product? <laughs> I uh, I fucking yeah. I even now since I've gone, you know, that was uh, in the early nineties, right? I've been to L.A. a thousand times since I will never go to Venice Beach or near it. I have such bad memories. <laughs> so when you go, I can't even. This, really? The nicest part. You have, yeah. yeah, you have PTSD I, from the beach? I, yeah, yes. I, <laughs> yeah. I looked like John McCain when they pulled him out of the fucking hotel. <laughs> and, and all, when Dave saw me on the beach, I was about 11 grams. I hadn't shaved in three weeks. Fucking Dog tag still around your neck. <laughs> it was so. It, I think about it now and it gives me the creeps. How long were you there for? About a fucking year. Rich Super, my agent, talked me into going out there. He's like, yeah, I live right in Santa Monica. You can come see me. Fucking, I couldn't find him. <laughs> you know, I wake up, it's eight in the morning. If I, get, you know, I was up all night calling my old girlfriend's house in New Hampshire, waking up her family. <laughs> now it's eight in the morning. You know, I have an 1140 at the Comedy Cellar, which is which is a 50-minute ride from... <laughs> No. It was the fucking I like it's all right. landlines. She couldn't get her directly. Yeah, no, that's, right. call the, oh. that's exactly right. Jay. It was the fucking worst. Oh. Back in, uh, oh. you guys are young, but like back, like Nick, Nick is is the funniest and was the funniest. He, you know, like when he went to L.A. Like I'm glad you padded that statement. But go ahead. <laughs> no, no, you're the funniest. So no. when you went to L.A., like back, back me up on this. Like people go to L.A. and it'd be like, well, that's really the last time we're going to see them until they're on television <laughs> with that TV show I've been hearing about for four years <laughs> that they've been talking about well i That's did go like, no no not you though but no, you know what no, i'm talking about absolutely right? the guy was like hey i'm going to la you know to pitch that seinfeld like tv show <laughs> that we've been talking about drunk <laughs> For four years, and you're like, "Wow, that's great! I'll right. be here in the clubs. Just you know, maybe I'll see you, uh, you know, in your limo 
on the way to the you know <laughs> Ace Awards. Was that? Something. And then then slowly they all started dripping. Back. I'm not talking about you at all. I don't give a Nick shit. Nick is the funniest. I came yeah. back but like, after. Th- then they'd be the guys who come back because they would get like some kind of weird deal, and it would always be like you know. Uh, Chet Hanks saw me uh, and <laughs> laughed, so I better get out there because I know any minute my cord phone is going to ring, and then I'll have to. <laughs> so I went back out. My Hugo, and, and I went back out. It was four like, years later. No, probably. but he was. It, he, there was nobody funnier than him. He's the strongest, the funniest, the bravest. And like they go out there, and then the TV, you know, the film system, whatever it is, that system, they, they water it. They want to do all that kind of stuff. So it's amazing that you didn't. You didn't. Uh, you know. Uh, Auto asphyxiate yourself in that basement. <laughs> Do an in excess. Yeah. Dave, I, I fucking came back to New York for a couple of years and then Brett Butler yes. had the same manager as me. Remember Dave and Christine Martin, these two Australians. She gets this huge deal and they talked me into moving back to. So you went back I out. Went back out. Wow. You didn't go to Venice yeah. Beach. And not, no, no, fuck no. I stayed inland. <laughs> not, but fucking not from 95 to 99. And, and, and I just. I had a few deals while I was out there. Dennis Larry's company, it, it, we went, we had meetings with the four major networks, and it was all chicks. It was all chicks and gay guys in every meeting. There would be, and I remember that finally. At the network. At the, at every like network. And, and, and the first question was, after, the first question in every meeting was, so what, what is the, the, what is your wife's role in the sitcom? That was the first thing out of, and you know uh, me with the yeah. fucking PC. Yeah. So the last meeting was with NBC, and I said that, I remember saying to Serpico, if they fucking ask me this again, sure enough, we're not in our seat. She said, so how do you see like your wife's role? And I go like this, I go, I go, uh, I don't know, I see her like in the pilot, she's pregnant, and I push her down the cell of stairs, <laughs> and I'm expecting Serpico and Dennis Larry to jump in laughing, yeah, and yeah. they just look at me, and there's a fucking awkward silence. <laughs> Serpico had to send the lady roses in the oh, state. that's so, great. Somebody put the cat back on their bottle of water. <laughs> this meeting is done. <laughs> yeah, the ultimate was, slam in L.A. Nobody even, not even Dennis. I was expecting Dennis to fucking jump in, in Serpico, and they just fucking looked at me. They Absolutely might as well have been not. working for NBC. What are you, fucking nuts saying that? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Look, I, uh, a little levity to break the tension. I, I went, had a meeting. I pitched a show that I knew TBS wouldn't want, but I just kind of did it for practice. And they did that. Like, what's like, what's the strong female role in this? Oh, I was like, go. no, no, the show's realistic. And then she just like shut down. Uh, uh, I even said I was joking. Like, I gave you know, I was like, I was like, I'm just kidding. By no, the way. did she shut a file? She shut down completely. Yeah. She's like, well, there emo- we go. She emotionally shut down the idea. And I said that fucking twenty years ago. A little ahead. Of, I was a little ahead of schedule with that crack. <laughs> <laughs> but holy can, shit! Not not to retread, but so the comics would go out to L.A. <laughs> Because this always happens to me now, though, because when I go out there, it'll be the guy who I hadn't seen in like 12, 15 years. And you'll be like, you never, in LA, you're never supposed to ask anybody what they're doing because it either, it either makes you feel bad or it makes them feel bad. Like, hey, what have you been up to? It's like, well, no, I've been working. I mean, I mean, like, you know, you can't just animate a whole show about Mozart yourself. Yeah, then they'll like run off to buy pot. But, uh, you know, like, then you'll see these guys. With these guys, I like all that time you know you hear him blathering about this stupid sitcom, and then you finally see him in L.A. and like you want to like talk about that sitcom because you remember. So I was like, so did it work? You and the orangutan? And, and, oh, I see you're working at a Petco. So are you doing research? Yeah. Dunstan chicks in came and stole my idea. Yeah. I had a fuck. I had a deal with Tony Danza's company, Katie Face. Uh, I, I, I did. I, 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 Samantha. I, I got to go to his house. I'm sitting in his billion dollar house drinking Heineken's with him and shit. I'm going to spend money on Nick the Poller. It was- <laughs> <laughs> Let me check with Mona. <laughs> what does Mona think? We got little fruitsy running around the house. Oh, man. I know he ain't that went away. I got a couple of deals out there. They just went away, man. No, but that's the, that's the, that's the beauty of it. It's because like you were always better than the deal. And then you have to kind of like, you have to kind of like, you know, so was it, like, it out. was it like an Oregon Trail thing? Like people would set out to go to LA. Yeah, that's like, what I'm trying to get. Yeah, yeah. You're like, all right, yeah. Yeah. you might be alive. You run into not. all of them. You run into all of them in LA eventually <laughs> again, and they're like, you know, it's like, what do, what have you been up to? I like, own a general store. You and you see that shit, did you? What you, I said, you were smart enough to fall. I, I for couldn't that act. Shit. I knew I couldn't act, and they Bullshit, would always bring I saw me. You on King of Queens? But seriously, everything I've seen you in, I went to the school of favors. Yeah, me too. No, come on, you really you can't. But uh, when I when I I, I was in, in comedy when it was like if you're ugly you're a writer. Now it's the other way around. If you're ugly you're the talent. I was saying that today. And there's all these good looking like that today. six feet like astronaut looking guys yes, who are the writer. The and you could be a, a and you could be a triple threat. You could be an <laughs> ugly singer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So I when my manager, my first manager, he said to me, he goes like, you know, um, 
uh, we were thinking of uh, sending it to the like, writing program. And I'm like, am I that ugly? Because <laughs> I already knew that that would have meant. But it was like, yeah, no, it's on uh, paper bag and no one can see your face, Avenue. And, um, <laughs> but like, but that, but that bring flip- your own lunch because they don't let somebody like you sit it's in a called- room with other people. What, what's the name of the program? Uh, John Merrick. Yeah. Uh, but that flip is- burn clinic. That flip is that- <laughs> That flip has actually changed. Like that Ed Sheeran guy is like a balding ginger dude. Yeah, no, he's, like, oh, oh, man. he's like a heartthrob. Yeah, he looks like a truck stop manager. That's because girls don't know fucking real men. Fucking no, but the, the yeah. dumb holes. Crazy. <laughs> when no, you heard here first, this shit. push-ups. When you said when you uh, when you said like you go to auditions and like there would be like five really good looking guys and <laughs> super hot chicks and yeah. stuff like that. Those days are probably over now. No, you're It's like right. walking into like a DMV. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, they all look like Monique. Yeah, the lady with the neck goil is one of the <laughs> yeah. biggest working what? things. One guy trying to hug himself down quickly. <laughs> I gotta stay up. I gotta stay up. Hit me in the face. I'm about to walk in. You know, I and I fucking went to network like four different times. Going to network, you go to like you have to go through like three, four auditions, get callbacks. <laughs> and you know, beat me out three of the four times out the network. Ed Marinaro he used to be on <laughs> Hill Street Blues, a good looking Italian guy. Yeah. I go, you fucking. I'd walk in. He's he's wearing a Super Bowl ring from the Minnesota. I go, hey motherfucker, can I have something? <laughs> he, he used to laugh. I'd walk in. I go, your resume is like fucking. Longer than my legs are, and they're gonna. G- I had two lines on Suddenly Susan a year ago. They're, they're, they're gonna fucking give it to me over you. I just used to fucking get back in the car. I used to, I, me I, I, and Ralph Macchio carpooling. It was me and the same were, four Italian guys going to these fucking auditions. I lost a gig once to uh, Tony Siragusa, which you're like, all right, fuck face. Like, get out of my way, you asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I know the goose. The oh, goose. That's why you're up against the four Italians, the four working Italians. It was, it was always like the, the same four or five Italian guys in the waiting. And they all, I'd seen them on the surprise. I'd seen these guys on TV. I'm like, for Christ's sake. I got a fucking. <laughs> but Ed Marinaro used to laugh. I'd walk in and he'd just start laughing. Because he, would he watch you just get visibly angry? When he'd, he watch me, he'd watch me come out and, and tear up the fucking sides. <laughs> And throw them in the wastebasket and go, fuck you. Yeah. What do they ask you? Like, what, what's your casting? T- like, you know, I know this is kind of, you know, cheap, but what's your <laughs> casting type? Like, when they, when they, like, send you out on a part? I get rich asshole. Do you get, like, an Ashley oh, Kutcher or, like, do, who do they say? No, that I you, don't get, like, hunky. I get, like, mean rich people. Mean rich people. Yeah. And, Jay, you're, you're like. Oh, it's always, like, fat, big guy, right. something like bouncer. that. Yeah, bouncery or, like. Uh, I love to get bouncer. I get, I don't get that. I get. Sick. Yeah, just, like. Just like kind of big, big personality type things. Yeah, I, I always play older gay. That's what. They, that's what. They, it's always I, like you run a boutique, you know. And I'm like, what? Yeah. I like. There's and another part can... in there. It was like a terrorist. I'm like, why am I not going for that guy's part? Because like, Molly, oh no, we, yeah, we have Molly a guy. <laughs> this guy did a one man show in Jordan. So and, he, uh, he's, he's very speaks. interesting. <laughs> Air America. <laughs> yeah, he speaks. It's actually his movie. He wrote it around that, and you're going to be the boutique guy. <laughs> the boutique guy in Jordan. <laughs> this is getting, making us nervous about our trip to L.A. next week, Jay. Why? Why? Is it we're pilot going, season already? Yeah, we're going to get shut down. Is <laughs> I'm gonna, it? I'm going to break down in a basement. And then I, oh, I bet that Sirius XM studio was filled with attractive people. Oh, yeah. you got to just go out there and take an acting class just for the pussy. Honest yeah. to God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you get laid doing that? Nah, I had a fucking wife. But listen. <laughs> I used was to that, look at it. Well, yeah, what is that like? Do you really meet the people? Like, what, an acting like, class? Like, I mean, like, do you have to do the scenes with them and everything, or is it just like one of those, like... Well, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> you, you know who tried to fucking, like, rape me? Roseanne Barr's daughter. Hey, all right. Really? She, she Chet like Barr? A, she was getting... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody names her kid Chet. Yeah. Chet Barr. <laughs> you mean, like, from this, like, Sarah Gilbert or that other one? I don't know what... Uh, real daughter I want to say, acting? No, real daughter. Or a real actual yeah, daughter. Yeah. Is it Arnold's kid? Is it an Arnold kid? Tom Arnold? Oh, I don't know. I don't no, think they, they so. They didn't have kids no, together. No, have this was like in the fucking mid-90s. But just, she's trying to like make out with me. It wasn't even in the scene. I was supposed to be fixing her car. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Can I but, suck uh, your dick in your car <laughs> while my mom waits? <laughs> it's like it's not going to suck itself. Uh, no, nothing's worse than an acting coach, if you ask me. Yeah. Like, I hated every acting thing. I've, I've never every, every, every acting class I've ever, I've only, I shouldn't say every, I took like two or three ever, uh, like different like cycles of classes. Yeah. And I, I, I felt like I was back in school that I hated. Yeah. I hated every minute of being there. I had a guy. I just didn't like it. I just don't enjoy the process at all. Guy in L.A., he was from Brooklyn. Or I don't want to mention his name, but uh, he, he introduced me to Jennifer Lopez in his driveway. He lived in Santa Monica. And uh, 
he goes to me, she's going to be, she, she's already got three films in the can. And I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever. If I can, yeah. Remember the Selena movie? Yeah. It was, yeah. Like, it was like a fucking a month before that came out. And it, and it was fucking, you know, yeah. J-Lo. And she ended up being just, great acting. It was just that her fat ass and that <laughs> tragic story. She was a tiny yeah. thing when I met her. In the, it, was, it was all sad and butt cheeks. But he had a great line. I was doing a scene. Uh, what was it? In, in Living Color. Remember they had, those yeah. dan- they had those dancers? Fly Girls, yeah. The Fly Girls. And the, remember the hot black one? She was my partner in one scene. I was supposed to. The scene was we were supposed to be, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend hadn't seen each other. And I go over to her apartment. And in the scene, I'm shaving her legs. <laughs> 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 and I apparently I wasn't a door. My acne coach goes, for Christ's sake, this is supposed to be central. You look like you're preparing her for knee surgery. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a tattoo on her shins. That <laughs> ah, that's great. And I I'll couldn't. Go, couldn't. Go through you generations remember, of hate in my mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. You don't know how much acting is going on here, sir. You remember Monty Hoffman? Yes. He he was. <laughs> I did a scene with him in bed. Huh? It was supposed to be. Eh, you have to know who he is. I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> I like the acting but coach. He's dead now, by the way. Oh, yeah. he is? That's what somebody told me. Money. Ooh. Yeah. I like you guys the, would recognize him. I like when you go to the acting coach's house and, like, you know, you sit down and then they're going to teach you how to be an actor, you know, and, like. Is this it, how you got raped? No, this is, this is the best part where they go, like, they go, like, um, you know, uh, it, it becomes a whole thing of, like, you, you, you're paying them. You're paying them and they're supposed to teach you how to become an actor, right? And then in their eyes, you can always see that moment of like when they realize, you know, um, <laughs> that this either you don't, don't give a it. shit, yeah. <laughs> oh, you just, where it's like you're full of shit or I'm full of shit. <laughs> and like, you know, what is that sound coming from your kitchen? Is that a cat? <laughs> like, like that point where you're like, it's like, okay, you got me. Yeah. I'm leaving. Your dishes and are I'm never on, coming back your here. Your dishes are on that. Yeah. <laughs> I just told you that I'm coming, that I, I'm going to be busy, but I'm really not. I'm just never coming back here. I love I love that that moment where it's like and we're both acting right there. It was like okay, well <laughs> that was you it. got it. You're good now. Go get that audition. You were reacting. Yeah. Well, jo- Joanna Bexson, who a lot of comics have worked with, I and took he, it. I right? took the class Did you? Too. And started and, yelling. Somebody's got a blue shirt over and over again. <laughs> I left. She was on. Uh, I did Colin Quinn's thing today. That web show. And she's on the set. You know, just hanging out. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. If you need a quick tip. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, your parents passed away. Okay, now do the scene. <laughs> Live in the moment. I'm going to go collect my check. <laughs> the only way to become an actor is to get a, go back to England. And live there. <laughs> <laughs> get one of those accordion neck things. Yeah. Dave, Nick, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, man. This yeah. fucking flew by. We're over time. Oh, wow. Sorry. I don't want to cut into. Can you Nick's, mention? I don't want to cut the next bits at all. Uh, oh, so you can get your sound exchange money. Yeah, no, I wish you guys, I wish you kind of the best of luck. <laughs> hope this yeah, fucking no. thing goes off the air in six minutes. I'm... October 17th, yes. Nick DiPaolo is going to be at the Gramercy Theater. Me and Danny. I'll be opening for him. Please da- come out. Dave, you headed on the road soon? Yeah, no, I'll be at Caroline's in, uh, yeah. Thanksgiving week. Yum. Yeah. That's huh? <laughs> yum, yum. Yum, yum. <laughs> It'll be Come back and promote that again. It's actually a great week for that, right? I used to do Christmas, so I'm slowly being bumped down holiday. I did that, too. I'll You'll be, be at Box Day. I did, flag, day I did Flag Day. I did about 140 people. Next year, Sukkot. <laughs> <laughs> New Year's uh, Eve, I actually did one. Girl, let thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with us. Thank you, guys. Two first all, the, all the all the best luck. Thanks Honestly, for you guys. Are great. You guys are funny. Thanks and, to you. Uh, yes. My wife actually turned me on to you guys. She listens. To, she's in the car all the time. <laughs> she's got she got a boyfriend upstate. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming upstate. on. And then guys. we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be new but not live on Wednesday. And then next week live in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. We'll catch you next time on the bonfire.